got this humongous specimen of cheese weed grown in my backyard. And it's big and beautiful and there's no bugs that are eating on it. So I'm gonna take this and turn it into fertilizer for my other plants. I'm also going to add some of this starry night aloe because it is all overgrown as well. So I'm just going through and casually ripping them out from a few different areas, some of these baby ones, and then I'll take some of the bigger leaves from the bigger ones to encourage healthier growth and go from there. So I've got several water jugs here and I've got my cheese weed and my aloe vera and I'm just gonna chop it up and get it into these jugs. My bottles are all filled. Uh, each one is about a third of the way. And now I'm just going to add some molasses to each bottle. And I'm going to do about two spoonfuls to each bottle. Messer. So now I'm just going to fill these guys up with some water and then put them in a sunny spot for a few days to ferment. Um, if I didn't have molasses, I would just use brown sugar. It is, if you didn't know, brown sugar is just molasses mixed with regular sugar. So after these are done fermenting for a few days, I can just take my knife and poke some holes in this and then water my plants with it. And it'll give them a lot of good nutrients that they are lacking in right now. And I will just be able to throw the jug away when I'm done. I'll be getting a second life out of the jug that is, you know, essentially just trash. And then I don't have to deal with the stinky, smelly, fermented plant juice, straining it. I'll just poke holes in it and it'll strain as I'm watering my plants with it. All my plants. There's lots of plants. Everywhere there's plants.